no friend, bro. I can try and help you. Too. Nah, that's alright. I'm just. Yeah. I can just knife running it, dude. Go for it. Go for it. Appreciate it, bro. Right, can take it. I have a quest. Oh, yeah, sure. Come with me then. I have to get spine. Don't touch that. Quack. Uh, do you guys need help with anything? Okay, I guess not. Not friendly. I, I, <laughs> Are you friendly? I, I he's got, he's got a box. Can I have it? <laughs> Whether you've been a good or bad boy or girl, the year is rapidly coming to an end and Christmas is just around the corner. So being in step with the retail stores, putting up their Christmas decorations early, I thought I'd do the same and put forward my early Christmas wish list for the Cycle Frontier. These are quality of life features that I'd like to see come to the game. I think it is things that will make the game more enjoyable for all. And especially with so much time left in season two, I think Jaeger's got a lot of time to implement more quality of life fixes that will make the game greater and a better game experience for all of us. My number one Christmas wish list and quality of life feature that I hope to be implemented in the game is to improve the game's current hidden shooting range. So with the cycle being a PvE, PvP game, not everybody is a PvP god, including myself. I have good days, I have bad days, and I've always been very clear on the cycle. Um, to have a, get a, a better gameplay experience, I would need to improve on my PvP. So the question then becomes, how do I get better at PvP? How do I get better with my weapon of choice, my loadout? How do I get over gear fear? And of course, one of the easiest ways to do this as one of the most put forward and requested solution would be as simple as a shooting range. Now, Jaeger has mentioned that they do want to implement this in the game in future, but of course, it's not going to be here for season two. However, there is a feature in the game, although with limited implementation, that you can do today that will help you do all these things that I will get into in a moment. So join me on the quality of life features I'd like to see implemented in the game and let me know in the comments below what is on your Christmas wish list for the Cycle Frontier. We all know practice makes perfect and to get over anxiety of any type, we gotta learn how to desensitize ourselves. To get better at shooting stuff, surprise surprise, you gotta shoot stuff. To get better at PvP, you have to do more PvP and learn the nuances of what errors are you strong, where are you weak, what do you need to focus on. The issue with the Cycle and Another game, which I believe is similar to a degree, although it doesn't have the looting aspect, is Hunt Showdown. Now, look, if you are an absolute chad at the game, like Raktazi in Hunt, like Chap and Afflict and Spuddy and Flakes in the cycle, you do not care about being silent. In fact, you want somebody to shoot at you, because if they miss, 9 out of 10 times, they're dead because of your skill level. But it's not the same for all of us. I love a good fight, I love practicing my PvP, but my biggest resource in playing solo the majority of the time, especially when I'm questing, is stealth. When my quests are done, I actively have days where I just seek PvP and I practice my movement, landing my shots, and learning the recoil of the gun that I'm using as I'm trying to improve. But when it comes to the game as a whole, I believe the majority of players don't just run and gun, meaning that in an active raid, or over the course of your playtime, how many times do you actually fire your gun that you can get used to shooting things or killing people in PvP? The knock-on effect with this, of course, too, is that if you're just looting and being stealthy for the first 10-15 minutes in a raid or whatever it might be, when it comes to the point where there's action or when it's time to shoot or you faced a player or two and you're in a battle, you're cold. Your eyes are not in. Um, you're not ready to shoot, you know, you're off your game. This then beckons the question, how much did you actually get to practice in your play session of actually killing things, people, players, or AI, as opposed to a game mode like Deathmatch in Call of Duty, where you could easily rack up a couple of hundred kills, depending on your skill level, in one play session. These are some of the many reasons why I believe it's imperative for a shooting range to be there that we can explore and train. So here's my suggestion that can be implemented fairly easily and I believe fairly quickly because it already was in the playtest for the game for those that were under NDA for Theros Island. And here it is. 
Currently, if you play tutorial mode, you drop down with a scarab and there's a core. If you die, it doesn't matter, and you can run around as long as you like, killing things and exploring the map until you run out of ammo. So what happened in the playtest for Theros Island, at certain points in the game, the devs would spawn many weapon crates full of weapons, attachments and ammo that you can then go play or explore the island with your gun of choice. So why not do this now in tutorial mode as a stand-in for a shooting range? Do it. If you want to practice your multi shots, great. There's a multi, there's AI, go ham. You want to practice the recoil on your Manti, great. There's your Manti, there's some attachments, there's bullets, go ham. This would be a great addition for the game and I think raise the skill ceiling for everybody when it comes to PvP if they're willing to put in some shooting range or tutorial mode practice. And there you have it, the first item on my early Christmas wish list. Now of course, look, I'd like something crazy to like imagine in the station that you can click on a player and you can challenge him in some type of 1v1 combat deathmatch arena. Of course, I would like a kill cam and various other things, but throughout the series, I'm specifically choosing things that I believe will be easy to implement and that will not possibly take a lot of development time. I believe Jaeger's gonna have their hands full coming up with something big next season to solve the biggest problem now, and that is to get new eyes and old and new players back to the cycle. So fingers and toes crossed. That's obviously the thing I think all of us want the most. If you're still with me, I appreciate you. Uh, thank you for sticking around. We'll post the next one as soon as possible. And please let me know in the comments below, what are your early Christmas wishlist items that you would like to see come to the game? If you check out on the cards on the right, there's a few more videos for you to check out too, uh, especially my two week review of season two. If you'd like to hang out a bit more and see what my opinions were on the start of season two. Wishing you all the best, IRL and on Fortuna.